day that the denial of the visa is a confirmation that the Kenya government were fully aware and they have been lying to us and they have been lying to the world, including the deceased uh, ambassador of Kenya in Nigeria, lied on air, lied on camera that Kenya government had no knowledge about the extraordinary rendition and kidnap of Mazin Ambikano. Now, the deliberate denial of visa is a confirmation that the Kenya government is fully aware and they are collaborating with the Nigeria government. Now, this is not why I'm here today, but I want every Nigerian, including those in Nigeria, because the crime against Mazin Ambikano is not just against Biafra people. It is also against Nigeria and, and at the same time against Kenya and at the same time against the international community. And against international treaty and against ECOWAS, against every other country that have, uh, you know, the signatory to so many international instruments against torture, kidnapping, extraordinary rendition, and so on and so forth. The question I want to ask you today, those of you who claim you are Africa, those of you who claim you are Pan-Africa, those of you who say, I'm an Africa, Africa is this. I want to ask you a question. Do you ever believe that you will seek a visa to a non-entity country like Kenya? I don't, do you ever believe that you will seek a visa to a non-entity country like Kenya? I don't know where, what the word to use it. Do you think you can ever seek a visa to go to a country like Kenya? A wretched country within your Africa continent and they deny you a visa. In fact, do you ever believe that you will even need a visa to travel to Africa? <laughs> I am asking you, do you ever think that you ever need a visa to travel to Africa country where you have the ECOWAS, where you use the ECOWAS, so-called ECOWAS passport? Do you ever think you do that? How many people from Kenya come to Nigeria with visa? How many people from Ghana come to Nigeria with visa? I am asking you. We know that when you go to South, you know, a country like South Africa, country like South Africa, you will be, you know, you'll be talking about getting visa to South Africa. And we know how it all started. We know the history. It is because of the superiority of the colonial masters and the people that brought the apartheid regime. They made themselves, they made South Africa more superior. They made South Africa look more superior than other African countries because of the color differences and the white. Because of the white supremacy in South Africa. Otherwise, South Africa, you don't need visa to go there. Kenya need visa. And the, 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 this is the worst embarrassment you can think of that a Nigerian, because now we are talking about a Nigerian lawyer. A Nigerian lawyer is being denied visa to go to Kenya. It's, it, this is the, this is the, the most, the unskip, unspeakable assault. And you know what? No media is talking about it. Nigerian media is not talking about it because it has to do with Biafra. It has to do Biafra, with Biafra. Somebody said that uh, Kenya is not among ECOWAS. <laughs> I don't know whether Kenya is not among ECOWAS. Kenya is in Africa. Kenya is in Africa. Kenya is denying visa. With Kenya. And it is on the public. Now, I do not even have problem there, okay? The problem I have now is that why, why did it take this time for the lawyer to come and make it public? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know why the lawyer have to wait until March before he can come publicly to tell the Afrans that he wanted to go and observe the proceeding of Mazen Amdekano case against Kenya and uh, he was denied the visa because we we you know 
as now that we have known, I want to know how the Kenya embassy in Nigeria, you know, how we are going to handle them. But why now? Why in March? Why is the lawyer coming to tell us now all these things that happened in February? And this, you see, this has to do with issue of public interest. This is not, uh, if you are representing Mazin Namdi Kano, it is the issue of public interest. These are the things that need to be public. You want to go to Kenya to observe the proceeding. It is an issue of public interest. It is not secret. And you got the denial you visa within your own African Africa, the continent of Africa, the denial of visa. The denial of the visa was not because you did not have money. The denial of the visa was not because you did not, uh, you know. <laughs> but instruction came that you must not be given visa to go and observe yourself. That should raise a very serious concern to the embassy of Kenya in Nigeria. What are they still doing? It is time we engage them with everything available to us. That is number one. Number two, what we are going to discuss this evening, I want everybody to pay attention to what our leader said two weeks before he was kidnapped from Kenya. A lot of you don't know that. <laughs> Do you? No, you don't know. Because if you know, you will be very, very high in the spirit. So those of you in Biafra land who are still on the other side or who your leg is here and one leg is there, like we said, the economic sanction, enforcement of the economic sanction, if you believe in this Biafra, whoever you are, wherever you are, the economic sanction must start this week. I do not know how you want to start it, I do not know where, I do not know when, but I am telling you that if you are really for Biafra and you are out for this Biafra, the economic sanction should start this week. All your arsenal, all your energy, all your everything you do now, for those of you who have volunteered yourself to fight for Biafra in any way, in any capacity, this is not a, 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 an idea. This is an order anywhere you are. We want you to start enforcement of the economic sanction. Any part of Biafra land, let the economic sanction begin this week. This week, this week, let it start this week. Because once the people in, uh, in Anambra start, the people in Abia will follow. Once the people in Abia start, the people in Nemo will follow. Once the people in Nemo start, the people in Enugu will follow. Once the people in Enugu start, the people in Ebony will follow. Once the people in Ebony start, the people in Abia State will follow. Once the Abia State start, Cross River will follow. Once Cross River start, Rivers will follow. Once Rivers start, Akwa Ebony will follow. We want to see it starting somewhere this week. So we have been, if you, in, you see, let me tell you, let me tell you all. We have the roadmap to Biafra, and I'm just giving it to you. For those of you who have been asking, what is the roadmap to Biafra? I am giving you roadmap to Biafra. The roadmap to Biafra starts this week. Any place you are and you know that you are a volunteer and you know you want to restore Biafra, and liberate Biafra from this shackle of bondage of Fulani in Nigeria who have been killing our people. Channel your asthma, your energy, everything to make sure that from this week, one of the states in Biafra land have to start the economic sanction this week. This week. Let it not be more than this week. I am telling you, if you want Biafra to come, if you want Biafra to come, if you want to fight for Mazin Namdi Kano, because he's not speaking for himself now. He's not the one giving order now. He is captured, and there will nobody know what they are doing with him there. So if you want to fight for him now, and at the same time, 
fight for this Biafra. This, this week, let it not be more than this week. The economic sanction must be activated. I don't know where you want to start it, but you know, those of you who have volunteered yourself to fight for Biafra, you don't waste your energy. You don't waste your resources. You don't waste your time. It is now we channel this particular energy and everything in us to the right direction. It's a template. Economic sanction must be activated this week. I want you all to listen to Mazin Namdikano, what he said to us two weeks before he was abducted in Kenya. Exactly two weeks. I want you to listen. To understand this very evening, we are facing a very formidable array of enemies. Both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you. We are facing enemies. But we are going to overcome these enemies. Both within and external. Now, is a pro it is a prophecy. Two weeks before he was captured. This is a prophecy. Now, we have faced the internal enemy, right? We have defeated the internal enemy. We have defeated, I'm telling you, this is a word of the spirit. We have defeated the internal enemy. Believe me. The point now is that we are now facing the external enemy. I want you to listen to this. That they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was wrought by the hands of men. So we do not worship idol and we can never ever worship idol is impossible. This very family, this IPOB belongs to the most high. And that is how it's going to be until we have to come two weeks to, to eternity. Two weeks after this, this evening, I want to place it on record that our enemies are intensifying their attack against us. Two weeks from every corner. Two weeks after I this. I am not saying this as lamentation or complaint i am only trying to prepare our people for what is to come are you prepared you are being prepared for what is to come mazi namdi kano was telling you two weeks before they capture him you were being prepared for what is to come that thing he was talking about is what we are now how many of you now live up to expectation in this Tribulation. How many of you? Now listen to him. The time has come to separate the child from the wheat itself. The time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat itself. Mazinam the Kano told you two weeks, exactly two weeks after this particular broadcast, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat itself. And are you going to look at what happened today? What is happening now? And you will say we have not separated the child from the wheat. We have done that. That is why I have always told you what you don't know is bigger than you. Bigger. Bigger than you. But as time goes on, day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour, week by week, month by month, you will begin to get brain and your brain will begin to come back until we get there. But we don't want you to continue to remain in darkness. He was talking to you that today are constituting nuisance. He was talking to you that today are calling some people sabo. Even his voice here was very low, like somebody commented. And this broadcast was just two weeks, two weeks before they capture him in Kenya. I want you to listen. 
Our march is very, very near. Our march is very the near. The enemies are trembling, they are quaking, they are doing all they can to try to stop us. Are you listening? But they have failed. They have failed. Very woefully. Very woefully. And they will continue to fail. They will continue to so fail. I want to say that we are getting attacks from everywhere. Are you listening? From everywhere all over the world. Are you listening? And very soon, they will buy over some of you. Very soon. Some very soon. They will buy over some of you. Very soon. Mazid Namdikanu told you, some of you watching me now, very soon they will buy some of you. When Mazid Namdikanu was talking about buying some of you, he was not talking about uh, 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 the Mejahiro Kundea. He was not talking about you that is commenting on social media. <laughs> okay? He said, very soon they will buy some of you. Very soon. What, what happened today? Have they not bought some people? <laughs> eh? Remember I said this broadcast you are listening to now was exactly two weeks before, the, before we hear the breaking news. He said, very soon they will buy some of you. Check yourself. Your bulls, have they bought him? <laughs> Is your bulls he or she been bought. I want to ask you a question. They don't buy you. Have you been bought to stand in the front of those who are separating the chaff from the wheat? Huh? All right, let us listen. Some of you, they will buy some of you over. Over. Of you, they will buy some of you over. Some of you, they will buy some of you over. The spirit of Opa, the Asika, and the Fajuna are still in some of you. When the time comes, they will buy you over. When the time comes, I am not doing this program tonight to ask all of you to be strong. Are you hearing I that? I'm doing it to remind you, not that. I am not doing this program today to ask you to be strong. He know. He knew you can never be strong. He knew. <laughs> he knew you can never be strong. So the reason why he made this program was not to tell you to be strong, but to remind you. Because God has prepared those who will be strong. And you know where they are? They are in autopilot. <laughs> So when he was talking this thing, he was not telling me. He was not talking to me. He was talking to every IPOB member. He was talking to every Biafran. That I am not telling you this thing so that today in 2022, you will be strong. No. I am telling you, making this broadcast this evening to remind you. So search yourself today. You that have not been bought, but you are out of your stupidity standing ignorantly mm -hmm. against the restoration of Biafra and against the liberation of Biafra. Search yourself. Have you fallen into the category of these people that Mazen Amdikan was talking to? I want you to listen. I am doing it to remind you, not that if they succeed in buying you over you're not going to stop what we're doing you see you can't you can't Actually, you cannot you can't a trillion years. you can't but i need you to appreciate one very simple fact okay that at the end of this very race mm -hmm. everybody will testify that indeed the same god of israel of abraham isaac and the same god of Eri in a glory the same god of whom we Chai, um, where you account? The same God of Ora the same God of Owe Eri, the same account. God of Arochuku. Chai. Let you know that the, the, the true God, one true God. Let me go back a little bit. True God, one true God. You will know that indeed. The true God, one true God. You will know that Eri, the same God of Owe Eri, the same God of Arochuku. 
You didn't hear that? Mazinam the Kano said, through God, not Ibinu Padre. Not Ibinu Padre. Through God, that at the end of this race, you will know that God is really God. Not Ibinu Padre. Do you remember when I was talking about Ibinu Padre? Do you remember when I was calling somebody to step aside for taking our men to Ibinu Padre against the leader of my of uh, of uh, Biafra? Did you remember when I was calling somebody to step that he cannot be part of this particular liberation movement? Do you all remember? I told you what you don't know is bigger than you. You know that uh, some people may have been waiting to hear to hear a, a news oh that autopilot Simon Ekpa, this Simon Ekpa, that and till today you have not heard our leader speaking against what is going on because <laughs> what you don't know is bigger than you okay and when something tried to happen God also salvage the situation that is why you must take everybody on ground must take the order that is coming from this platform tonight very serious every order that is coming from here is spiritual and must be taken very serious you, let me tell you let me tell you you know some of them they say oh you have uh, Simon Ekpa have given order. It is not Simon Ekpa giving order. It is not Simon Ekpa. The order that I am giving is automatically piloted order from the spirit of Biafra. And if you refuse, if you are in a position to carry those orders and you refuse to carry it, you will have yourself to blame at the end of the day. Believe me. You will have yourself to blame. We are now in action phase. You see all of you that are shouting where we are talking every day, exposition, exposition. We are no longer in exposition of anything. We are no longer in this. Of course, we are going to be exposing the Nigeria government for people to see the reason why we are doing what we are going to be doing. Okay? So that we are going to intensify that one. It is because of what we have done so far that made the Nigeria government to even accept to send Abba Kaere, that jihadist policeman, to America. If not the way we followed it spiritually and physically, they will continue to put that thing under the carpet. But we told Abba Kaere that killing Ikonso and Co, killing our people in Biafra land, will be the end, will be his end, and it is happening today. And let me tell you, he will not return back to Nigeria alive. They are going to deal with him in the prison. You don't know where he's going to. Say that I say that. <laughs> Is it not? They are going to deal with him and the, the people will deal with him will have nothing to do with Biafra. They are going to deal with Abba Kaere in America prison. That man shed blood, innocent blood of our people. That man set our men up and killed them. That man committed genocide and the blood of our people will never rest until they kill him in America. Say that I say that. He was used as a jihadist expansionist. He was used. But mark my word. He will not come back to Nigeria. If he enter America, he will never make it back to Nigeria. He will never. He will never make it back. Go on, right to this date. Because he think he owns life. He think he can kill anybody. And you can imagine now, you know, he, he, he used Nigeria police uniform. He used power he have. 
They sheltered him in the name of a policeman. He was never a policeman. He was never a policeman. He was a criminal and a jihadist. A complete international criminal and jihadist. So he can never be addressed as a security man. So now that they have found out that he is a criminal, what have the Nigerian government done to the people he have killed in the past? Because that's, you know, if you want to strip, you see, let me tell you one thing. I want to give you an example. Somebody who is a criminal, okay? Let us use a sport. You know, you are doing sport, right? You are doing sport. You belong to you, 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 you are, you are into athletics. And then you go into drug. You go and do doping, what they call doping, dope. You win Olympic or you win Olympic. You win a world championship. You win everything. And one day after winning Olympic, after winning world championship, you get caught for cheating. Do you know what happens to you? Every uh, title, every award you have won in the past, every Olympic medal you have won, every world championship you've won, everything will be stripped off you. They will strip it off from you. Including your personal best, including the best time you've, every medal will be taken away from you. Do you understand that? So, the question now is that since Abba Kaere has, you know, proven himself to be a criminal and a jihadist, the people he killed with Nigeria police uniform have then now found out that those people were actually criminals. I am asking. Because some of the killings of Abba Kaere was to cover his own crime. He was killing people to cover his own crime. So, do you now justify the extrajudicial killing by Abba Kaere in Biafra land, in Imo State to be precise? Have any judge tried those people that Abba Kaere killed? Have any court condemned them to death? Have anybody, any court condemned them to death? Some of them did not have anything against anybody. Abba Kaere entered their house, slaughtered them, and killed them in the night. And let me tell you, it didn't end there. I want to show you something. But let us continue with Mazen Namdikano's word first. I'm going to come to that. Thank you, God. You know that indeed, not only is he omnipotent, the same God of Ora Eri, the same God of Owe Eri, the same God of Arochubu. Not even no bad. The, the, the not even no bad. No. Not true God. Mm. You will know that indeed, not only is he omnipotent, that that same God is the owner of this very agitation. No human being can stop it. Yes. We have enemies. We have enemies. And we need to be very, very careful. We need to be very, very careful. Both within and without. Both within very, and without. Very careful. The next two weeks will be very pivotal. You hear that? The next two weeks will be something else. And it was exactly two weeks. Mazenam the Kano said, the next two weeks will be very pivotal. And today, immediately that two weeks, we hear the news that Mazenam the Kano has been captured. Has been captured. I think uh, there is a there is a breaking news. 
I don't know how <laughs> how true this is, but that is a breaking news. And I'm going to read the news to you where the breaking news is that Mazi Namikano's American lawyer, Bruce Fenn, asked Barrister Ejiofo to withdraw from IPOB leaders' legal team immediately. I do not know. This is just a breaking news and it's from a Sahara uh, reporter. So I think we need to, we need to check it. We need to check this. We need to check this particular news. At least I don't have uh, knowledge of this until now. A lot is happening. I do not know. So a lot is going to happen. There is a very serious earthquake. There is a very serious earthquake. The earthquake is on and blowing everywhere. So I want you to... to <laughs> I just want you to look at this. A lot is going to happen. People don't know what is going on. A lot is going to happen. Now, this is a, a news. I'm just seeing it now. Breaking. Namdikano's Nam American lawyer, Bruce Fain, asked Ejo for to withdraw from IPOB leader, uh, leaders' uh, legal team immediately. In the letter obtained by Sahara reporter, Fair noted that Ejiofor was not eligible to defend Kano against the Nigeria government amended charges in, in the court, citing a pending lawsuit instituted by a businessman against Ejiofor over alleged fraud of 5.6 million naira. <laughs> This uh, is a small amount, but anyway, Bruce Fenn, American lawyer of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, uh, Namdi Kano, has written to Ifani Ejofo, a member of the legal team, urging him to immediately refrain, urging him to immediately uh, refrain from representing the agitator in the letter obtained by Sahara reporter, Fane noted that Ejofor was not eligible to defend Kano against the Nigeria government amended charges in the court, citing a pending lawsuit instituted by a businessman against Ejofor over an alleged fraud of 5.6 million naira. I don't need to go further into reading this because, you know, I need to read it before I will bring it to the public and make a comment on that. You don't know what is going on, do you? You don't know. Now, I want to play this thing now so that you will understand. Next two weeks will be very, very important in the life, or should I say, in this very mission that we have embarked upon. You see, Mazi Namdekano said, in the next two weeks will be very, very important in this particular agitation for Biafra and the life. He know something was to happen. He know that something will happen. Because he know. <laughs> he know he was in Kenya or he was going to Kenya. So it is a matter of either I made it or I don't make it. So he know. He know, the, he know that it is either I make it or I don't make it back safely. So he know. Now, after Mazin Namdekano in the spirit, know all these things, he came to Radio Biafra and he was telling us, he was telling me and you to up our game. He was telling you and me to put our belt and get ready 
to fight the inside enemy and the outside enemy. When I was busy fighting the inside enemy, what did you do? Did you notice that I was actually fighting the inside enemy? No. <laughs> you did not. You did not know. <laughs> you did not know. But you know, it is, like I said, you know, we, we, have, we have defeated those inside enemy. We've won them. So if you want to, if you want to continue to support them for a few weeks, because your support cannot move a mountain. You cannot even go in, it's like a smoke. You cannot even go uh, more than two kilometers eh, to go to Jesus. No. Every support you give them, your 10, 10 euro you pay to them, 10, 10 dollar you pay to them, cannot go more than two kilometers. It will vanish. So continue to pay them, and then it's not somebody will tell you to stop when the time comes. Okay? So we have fought the inside enemy within. But when we are fighting these enemies, some of you we are calling us a lot of names. Some of you we are calling us a lot of names. Today I have come to tell you the kind of enemy we have fought within. And let me tell you, the enemy within we have destroyed the enemy and they can never rise again. Never will they rise again. That is the one thing I have to tell you. I want you to listen to Mazin Amdikan. The devil will do everything. And you are going to watch spectacularly how we are going to destroy and shame the enemy. The devil will do everything. And you are going to watch spectacular how we are going to destroy the enemy. The devil will do everything. Devil did everything indeed. Devil even try to change the hero's remembrance day. Devil even try to destroy the Eastern Security Network. Devil even tried and fought and tried to stop the funding of the Eastern Security Network. A funding of our men. I don't know what they want them to start doing. I don't know what they want our men to start doing on, on the ground. Devil fought. They did everything to destroy the structure. They did everything to destroy the legacy. They fought tooth and nail. But you know what? In all these things, all of you did not know that two weeks prior to the abduction of Mazin and Bikano, he foresaw them. He told us, we, listening to this thing, we know we kept it. We kept it because, you see, some of you claim you follow Mazin and like you know, some of you are watching me today. You don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know whether you understand me. <laughs> that is why when Mazin and Kano was here with us, most of the time he made broadcast. After his broadcast, I will come back to this platform to take some of the point and begin to bring practical evidence to you to know whether you can you know whether the thing can make any sense to you because some of you will just listen you don't know nothing you don't listen and that's it you will just listen and listen and listen and that's it you don't get anything from us in american you follow him for many years and you don't learn nothing the only thing you learn is that you want biafra because if you have followed my in american with with your heart and your brain this thing i'm saying now when this war, when this inside war was going on, you should have remembered that two weeks before he was abducted, he made a broadcast where he, where he said everything. And I'm going to, as I, after analyzing it, I will allow it to play uninterrupted. So I want you to listen. That at the end, every glory and adoration will belong to God and not to man. Exactly. Now let us go and tell you what is happening that some of you do not understand. I want those of you who are hardcore, those who we are chosen before you, we are born. Hi! Those who are hardcore, those who we are chosen before you were born, not those who just wake up <laughs> and come and join because they called you to join Biafra Struggle. No! Those who were born for this particular... You see, let me tell you. Biafra suffered. After the war of Biafra, 
The spirit of Biafra never rested. So people were being conceived. People were historically being conceived. And people were giving birth to. Specifically for them to be part of the liberation of Biafra. And I can tell you, I am one of them. So if you are one of them, it is time for you to come out. So, Mazen Amdikano was telling you two weeks before they abducted him that it is time for you that were born, not those who were, who answered his call. No. Mazen Amdikano gave message to me and you who were born for Biafra, not those that he called in 2013. Not those he called in 2014. Not those that when he said, come, oh, I'm setting up IPOB. Come, come, come and join me. No. He is talking and was talking to those who were born for Biafra. That has not even joined IPOB. I want you to listen. Who are hardcore. Those who we are chosen people do not understand. I want those of you who are hardcore. Those who we are chosen before you, we are born. There were some people who we are chosen before they were born. You see? To agitate for Biafra restoration. Did you hear that? There's a message for you. Those who there were people who were born before even you were born, you, the, you were conceived for Biafra. So this is a message for you. This is not a message for anybody. This is not a message for, for co coordinators. This is not a message for secretaries. No. <laughs> this is not a message for those who joined in 2013. No. This is a message for you who were born for this Biafra struggle. And this message is for me. And I received the message. And I made sure that I implemented everything in this message, including the one he did not say. That is where, and that is the reason why God used every one of us in auto, autopilot to restore the struggle. No, not even the struggle, because we restore the struggle, we now enter the liberation. Otherwise, the struggle, the, the Biafra issue is dead already. <laughs> I am telling you. So we came autopiloted to restore this movement for Biafra freedom. And today, we are bigger and stronger. You can never break us. You can never. And let me tell you, even anything we are going to do, this is what I'm telling you now about economic sanctions. Just watch and see how the Biafra spirit will begin to flog those who are supposed to enforce the economic sanction. And they are not going to do it. You are going to watch how it, it is going to happen. Once one state begins the enforcement, bah, it will spread like fire. Just let us just watch my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.